why the medical mystery is being investigated in Auburn, Alabama. Oncology researchers want to know why five people who either attended Auburn University or worked on the campus at the same time have been diagnosed with the same rare cancer. Sherry Jackson reports from Birmingham on where it could be a cluster or just a coincidence. You can look, but you can't see, even if you focus very closely on Lori Lee's eyes. What's going on inside them isn't visible to the naked eye. We wanted to talk to them for a little bit now. It stems from something doctors suspect happened decades ago when Lori attended Auburn University back in 1985 through 89. Strange, kind of eye-opening, what in the world could have been. There is no known cause. You just, you know, I was basically told I had probably a better chance of winning the lottery than, than getting this because it is so rare. These days, she travels regularly here to this NCI-designated hospital in Philadelphia for treatment of a mysterious cancer discovered in her eye. It's called uveal melanoma. It typically affects five to six people in every one million, about two to 3,000 people in the U.S. each year, usually men in their 60s. This lab inside the Sydney Kimmel Cancer Center at Thomas Jefferson University is where they study the rarest of the rare eye melanomas. Five cases from the Auburn community got their attention. Because it's a rare disease and you don't expect people to know someone. But someone did in our state. We did have someone down um, in Alabama who actually mentioned, oh yeah, actually two girls that I went to college with were also diagnosed with this rare cancer. And so really that's kind of what started our suspicion or investigation into potentially what could be what could be happening. Very strange. We have a couple of start looking around, you know, we're asking, keep asking the same question, where do you uh, leave? Dr. Takami Sato is a professor of medical oncology at the Sydney Kimmel Cancer Center at TJU and a pioneer in treatments for metastatic uveal melanoma. The team is going into Auburn mm -hmm. to alert people that something... Not, not a lot, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, informed. informed. Them. Yes, inform yes, them yes, yes. On, on why it would be mm -hmm. a good idea mm -hmm. to have regular eye exams at this point. That's the one thing. Also, if uh, you know uh, uh, people who live uh, there can give us some hint, you know, Dr. Sato, Dr. Olof, I think that this might be uh, one thing that you have to look into. In Birmingham, Sherry Jackson, WKRG News 5. Well, Auburn University issued a statement saying they welcomed the cancer researchers to campus and said, quote, our understanding is the scientific community is not yet established what causes it. And there is no known casual connection that would indicate any student or employee is in danger. The university would act immediately if it knew of any unsafe condition on campus, end quote. Auburn city leaders also plan to meet with the researchers.